So here's a 34-year-old man with a family history of heart disease. The family's got heart disease. Cholesterol's 10.6. Importantly, the triglycerides are two, which I would say is not normal. Um, he's got a normal level of these other things. He doesn't have diabetes. Now, what type of LDL would he have? And it's small, dense LDL. He's got a lot of LDL, and a lot of it is small and dense. He's in danger of heart disease. This family history is going to get him. In, fam in familial hypercholesterolemia, the LDL particle that accumulates the most is these small, dense particles, LD3, 4, 5, and 6. The small particles are what accumulate. The disease of familial hypercholesterolemia is not a disease of LDL. It's a disease of small, dense LDL. So if somebody with familial hypercholesterolemia has a triglyceride above 1.2, they'll have small, dense LDL. Now with statins, it is true that statins only affect three... If, you, if a healthy person takes statins, they're lucky to get any benefit. If somebody with uh, diabetes takes a statin, they'll get a three, might get a 3% benefit. If somebody with familial hypercholesterolemia takes a statin, there's an 80% benefit in their survival. Huge benefit in survival. And the reason is because what statins do more than anything is lower small dense LDL. So this is what statins, doesn't matter which statin you take, what happens very quickly within the first month is the small dense LDL disappears. That's why they work more than just making the LDL disappear. So there's a general guide to when somebody might have this genetic disease of hypercholesterolemia. And if you don't have any relatives, a cholesterol above about 9.3 according to doctors at the moment, mean you've got familial hypercholesterolemia. So here's this 41-year-old man who complained of palpitations. He's got a cholesterol of 15. And so, well, you've got a genetic problem with your disease. Problem is, a few months ago, he had a cholesterol of 4. Now, if you show that to most doctors or lipidologists or specialists in the world, you've, they've got no idea what's happening here. A lot of this audience know what's happening here, and this is the hyper-responder to the low-carb, high-fat diet. They don't have a genetic problem. They've caused this problem because of a mixture of an underlying genetic uh, vulnerability. Now, but this, does this guy have small, dense LDL? A bit like, you know, 1.5 is my limit. According to the FH study, is 1.2. 1.6. He's got small, dense LDL needs to be very, very low to prevent all of that LDL becoming small and dense. DoctorsToTrust.com Please share this video with loved ones.